All right, let's bring in Mark Saxton, a forklift operator at the Mayfield Candle Factory. Mark joined us a little earlier in the show, but due to a technical difficulty, we lost his shot. But we're so happy to have him back on. And Mark, one of the developments um, that we wanted to talk to you about was that some of your coworkers at the Candle Factory have said that they were not allowed to leave uh, right before the tornado hit, or the, uh, the tornado hit. And now there's going to be an investigation into the Candle Factory's handling of the situation. Um, what do you know about this? Um, were you, did anybody prevent you from leaving? Uh, no, ma'am. Nobody prevented me from leaving because our supervisor was out for the whole week. So there was nobody above us to tell us that we could and could not. Did you hear anybody else um, at the candle factory say anything like, no, you can't leave, you have to stay here? No, ma'am, because I work in the warehouse, and it's mm. only about 12 guys in the warehouse. And in production, it's about 100-plus people. So we don't really interact unless we're bringing product out to the floor. Okay. okay. In light of what your colleagues said about these reports of them not being able to leave, can, can you think why the company would have said that? Uh, yeah, because, I mean, production is a priority, and getting the product that is a priority. So, yeah. you know, sometimes the, the product before uh, the emergencies, in my opinion. So, so you think it could be related somewhat to the fact that we're so close to Christmas and there's a, a rush to get things out? Well, we're close to Christmas. People need money to get their own children Christmas products. And the only way to get that money is to work. Yeah, and of course, the Candle Factory a spokesperson there is denying that, that any, any of this happened. Um, so more to come on that front as the investigation unfolds. Uh, we want to talk to you quickly about your wife um, and your, your children. Um, apparently, she um, collapsed during the storm as she was protecting her, your children. How is she in, and how is your home? How, how much damage did it suffer? Well, we don't have a home. We lost the roof in the kitchen. We lost the roof in most of the bedrooms. The only place that wasn't really damaged was the bathroom and the closet. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got to rebuild all the way. If but I'm my wife, is, but it's, it's traumatizing for them because at the same time that I was calling and the wall was on top of me, my wife had passed out. So she has a pacemaker on her heart wow. to her. Uh, Wanted to her heart, so they thought she died because she passed. They know she has a heart condition. It was really traumatizing. Oh, again, we're praying for you, your entire family. If you want to help Mark and that family, they have a GoFundMe set up. Mark Saxon is his name. Please, if you can't help, please try and do so. Mark, we're praying for you. Mark, buddy. do you know quickly? Do you know the name of the GoFundMe? Uh, it's just if you if you go to GoFundMe and you look up Mark Saxon, you will find okay. it. Okay. All right, Mark, X, S A X T O N. Um, God bless you. Uh, you know, you're suffering so much loss this week, and you have a story to tell, and thank you so much for jumping back on with us and telling it.